We all know that the free Cadence theme is the most full-featured free WordPress theme that pretty much has ever been released. But now there's a pro version, and in this video, we're going to review that pro version. We're going to look at some of its strengths as it compares to some other WordPress themes. We're also going to look at some of its weaknesses. We're going to cover all of the unique features in the pro version of the Cadence theme in this video. Okay. All right, so what is the performance like? And that needs to be pretty much the first thing that you evaluate with a WordPress theme is what is the actual performance? Is it gonna make a fast website? Is it bloated? Those types of questions. So here are the numbers when you install a fresh copy of WordPress and then install the theme. You're gonna end up with nine total requests. Now all the themes that you consider fast and well-coded and optimized are gonna end up coming in between eight and 10 requests. And even if it was 11 or 12, it's really not that big of a deal where you would actually notice it. But I just wanted to answer this, it's nine total requests. And those requests total a size of 41.9 kilobytes. Now, the themes that you consider the fastest are gonna come in at 40 to maybe 55. It shouldn't really go higher than that. Now, when a theme is over over 100 kilobytes on a default install, it usually is an indicator that they're using some old libraries in their theme and they haven't really maintained it or stayed on top of current development and coding trends. Now, the reason I like to look at this is because despite all the enhanced features that you get with the Cadence theme, it's not a bloated theme at all. It's among the fastest WordPress themes that have ever been made. And this all goes back to using it to effortlessly make very fast websites. So of course it works with any page builder. This would be Elementor or Beaver Builder, any page builder, it doesn't matter which one, Breezy, or the default WordPress block builder. It works with all of them. WooCommerce, of course, a theme has to have really tight integration with WooCommerce, but also enhance its features. And we'll look at some of the Cadence Pro features for WooCommerce in this video. And lastly, one thing that is uh, hits close to home for me is online course plugins. I'm talking about LearnDash and I'm talking about Lifter LMS, and there's another one as well that it has integration for. In fact, I'm using it for an online course website that I have, and I'll be showing you that in this video and why it's a great fit for a website like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the key features of the Cadence Pro theme right now and demonstrate some of them. So, okay, let's take a look at these main features. The first one is additional header items. Now, if you're not already familiar, the Cadence theme has an amazing header and footer builder that is so easy to use. It's drag and drop and you see everything in real time. And it's powered by a grid and items. So if I go into the WordPress customizer, I can click right here where it says header and the same applies to the footer, but I'm going to click on the header. These are the header items. So we have this grid right here of three rows and three columns. And you can drag and drop drop any of these items anywhere that you want in this grid, or you can click the little plus as you highlight over it and choose the header item. This enables you to unlock any layout that you could imagine that you want for your website. And all these header items are just drag and drop. You can drag and drop them anywhere that you want, and it's so easy. So some of the standout additional header items are this one right here, which happens to be my favorite. It's called the account. So you'd probably put the account on the top right and you can see now there is this little avatar icon. To get to the settings for this header item, you would click on the settings item right here and there's a plethora of options here. Now I'd like to show you a live website where I am using this header item and I absolutely love it. And this is how I have it configured. Here is my online course website that I've been setting up and uh, you can see it right here on the top right and you can see it's pulling in my graphic 
avatar image. It's displaying my name and there's a drop down menu right here. And this is what it looks like when I'm logged in. Now I'm on the website where I'm logged out and you can see it looks different. It does, it has this kind of icon here because it doesn't know who I am. It says login and check this out. When I click on it, it shows me this login pop-up window and I can also have an option here to register. So without going through all the settings for this header item, you can see it in real time. Now, I think that any website that where you need to have a, an ability for people to log in, this is ideal. It truly gives your website an app-like feel. Other additional header items will be extra navigation options, button options, HTML options, for maybe putting a notice on your website. Dividers, I actually like dividers, so check this out. If I wanted to put a divider between, say, the menu in the button like that, you could see it pushed the menu over a little and now we have this divider. There's different ways that you can style the divider to your liking. Another standout header item is the contact item. So when I drag it there, you can see in the top right, it added some contact information. I can click into it right here in custom customize this and I can add an email, I can add an address. This is great for local businesses that like to put their contact information inside of their header. Another standout header item is the search bar. So we already have the search icon right up here where it'll add the little search icon for a website visitor to click on and then it will make a search box appear. But if you have ever gone to Amazon's website and maybe drooled over this search bar in the menu, well, that is what the search item allows you to do is add a search bar. So here it is, the search bar. I'll just drag and drop it, say, into the middle, and there it is. Now, you can style this, you can make it wider, you can change the colors, you can specify what it actually searches. So if I wanted to make it super wide and I can change the colors to kind of match an Amazon look, you have full styling control. Now, if I had WooCommerce installed on this site, there would be an option to make it where it only searches products, not the content other than products on your website. And there are two other standout header items, the widget area, but the toggle widget area is quite interesting. So I can drag this over to the right and what it's gonna show is an icon here, the hamburger icon, but you can change it. There's different options for it. And that's going to trigger an overlay that takes over the screen where you can show information or you can show a menu. So if you want that really clean look where you don't have to look at a menu, but when someone clicks here, it shows the menu, this is how you would do it. So here's the icons. This one right here is qu quite trendy, but you can also make it obvious by typing menu right there and there's lots of styling options that you have right here and those are the additional header items it truly unlocks unlimited design options and potential with your header and with your footer i didn't show the footer in this example i love it it's very useful to me and i'm already getting a lot of great use out of it okay the next big feature is elements now with some themes this is also known as custom layouts or custom hooks or elements all three names are somewhat interchangeable but there's some really special ways that the cadence pro theme has implemented this. Here I am on a somewhat fresh WordPress installation. When I go to appearance and I click on cadence, there are these pro features that you can toggle on or off. And I've toggled on the hooked elements. So it brings up this new menu option here that says elements. And when I click on it, it'll show me a list of my elements. So let me just kind of show you this in practice and give you an example. I can click on add new, and then it's going to give me a choice that to to make is it a default element i'm going to talk about fixed elements and code elements later so a default element right here i can give it a name and right here i can create some content inside of the block builder or i can use a page builder like elementor if i have it installed then i can go right here and i can choose where i want this bit of content inserted so what this feature enables you to do is insert content where you normally can't get 
content in. Here's an example of a product page. And when I scroll down, here's an add to cart button. And then there's this area underneath here. Well, how do you get a bit of content in that area? You use this elements, you create it. So you would create it that said this bit of text right here. And then you would choose the location underneath the product buy button or add to cart button. Here's another example. Uh, this has a pop-out cart. Cadence has a pop-out cart. And when you see this pop-out cart, there's another notice right here that says free shipping. And you can see down here, it says guaranteed and there's these icons. So this is an element that is inserted inside of the pop-out cart. So I hope you're starting to see what you can do with this elements feature. It enables you to insert any content you can create pretty much places that are typically untouchable. So when you go here and you scroll through, you can see all of these areas that you can insert this. So say on your website, you're having a sale or you wanna have some kind of announcement ba banner on the top of your website or on the bottom of your website and you only want it on certain pages or site-wide. This is the feature that enables you to do that. Now you can also use this to replace a header, replace a footer. You can also use this to create a 404 page. When we were on this website, you know when you clicked on login and it had this pop up. Well, you can also insert content off to the left, off to the right, above this or below this. These are areas that you normally cannot get content into. So you would choose where you want that content right here. When you scroll to the very bottom of this list, it says custom hook right here. So what this is, if you're using a third party plugin, maybe an events plugin and they provide hooks. Now I'm talking very techie and developer here, but say they offer this hook feature in these hook areas. All you have to do is know the name of the hook and you can put it right here and you can insert the information in. This is a feature that developers will love. Now you can also display your content via a short code and that list was there. If you're using Learn Dash, this is the only theme that has hook areas into Learn Dash. So if you wanted to insert content inside of lessons, you can do that here as well. It's very deep, the placement options. Now next we have the display settings right here. And this is where you wanna show it. Do you wanna show it on your entire site? just particular pages, different types of content. You have all of these options right here and you can add additional role rules in order to target exactly what you want to target. Then you would choose a user setting and this is, is it visible to all users, just logged in users or logged out users or based upon certain user roles. This is how you can get a dynamic built website. It's very powerful. Okay, next, this is unique. You can have device view options. So it can be on all devices, desktop, tablet, or mobile. You get to choose. So if you want something on the footer for just the mobile, this is how you would do it. And what I think perhaps is the most powerful feature is an expires setting. What this allows you to do when you turn it on is this bit of content that we create and insert, you can have it expire on a certain day. So if you have say a sale going on, and it, it's over at the end of the month and you create this banner and you and you place it above everything on your website, well, sometimes you might forget to go and then make that banner go away when the sale is over, but you don't have to worry about that when you're using the Cadence theme. It has this expire setting, so you can go in here and set the date when you don't want this content to appear anymore. So that's a big advantage. There's that other big advantage of entering, manually entering in, in in the custom hook location, the device specific views. So it could be for all devices, desktop, tablet, mobile. The way you create a fixed element is just like you would have created a normal element, except you can have it be fixed to the top of the page 
or to the bottom of the page. So this is ideal in those scenarios when you want to have some form of an announcement. Now there's a lot of creative things that people are actually doing with this unique feature. Check out this site right here. Uh, they created this tutorial and it's done by a really good guy. He's really talented at what he does. And so he took this feature and he enabled it to have this kind of a fixed pop-up thingamajigger here. Now you can see in this tutorial, he's using it and showing you how to use it with say a contact form, but you can see right here, he used it for a different purpose. When I click on it, it shows whatever content he wanted to show because it's fixed. This is an example of a fixed element used in a very creative way. Now, it wasn't initially made to kind of look like this, so he has a little snippet of code that will allow you to have this kind of action right here, but you can do really creative things like this. So let's go ahead and make one. I'll click on add new, and we just did this a moment ago. You see how we did default, but this is a fixed element. And so when you choose fixed, the only difference is right here where it says placement, you can see we have different placement locations. So fixed on the top of your website or fixed above a transparent header or fixed at the top after a scroll. I'm going to show you what you can do with that in a moment. Fixed at the bottom or fixed at the bottom, no space below the footer. So these are your placement options and you also have have those other display settings, user, device, and expires settings. Here's a really neat website that my wife ordered a dessert for us, a ketogenic dessert, and she ordered this right here. In fact, when I saw this site, I thought, man, this would be so easy to build this header with cadence, uh, just take five minutes. But anyway, so she ordered this. It's these keto vegan brownies, and they're actually really, really good. But I want you to pay attention to the top of the web page as I scroll. Watch this. Did you see what just happened? You see what just appeared? Let me go and do that again. I'm going to scroll down, and we had something appear after we scrolled and it's this bit of content and that is that fixed feature. You see it fixed to the top after scroll. That is the exact effect that you can do with the cadence theme. Here's another example of that effect. So Mashable, this website I'm on is very well known for doing this. So when you scroll on any of their blog posts, did you see what happened at the top? Watch when I scroll down, the whole content changes and now it's showing a share button. That's another example of what you can do. Not that e-commerce example where I scrolled down and it showed the product name and it showed the add to cart and changing the quantity. That's a dynamic content feature that's not currently in the theme, however, that is is where the theme is actually headed so that you'll be able to do dynamic things like that using this fixed when you scroll feature, which I just, I gotta say, I love it. Okay, I know you guys are saying this guy's totally drinking the juice, but there's pros and cons to the theme and I'm gonna get to all of that. Okay, so we're not done, uh, but I am trying to move pretty quick here. So let's look at some more. So there's ultimate menu and mega menu. Let me just show you what the ultimate menu is. So in WordPress, if you go to your menus, I've got my menu here and here's my different menu items. So if I go right here, there's this option here that the theme adds that says menu item settings. And when you click on it, you get this pop up here. Through this interface, you're gonna be able to do three different things. Here's an example of my favorite thing. You can see here in the top right, we have this menu item and this menu item. And these are actually just menu items, but they are icons instead of the actual name of the menu. And this is actually very common these days. If you go to Facebook, what do you see in the top right of Facebook? You see icons, we know what they are, we know what they do, and you get the same thing like this using the cadence theme. So right here, you could choose to hide the menu text. Right here, you would choose one of the icons, and then you're set. And right here is something entirely different. This is a highlight label. So this could get put a little badge to say the top right 
of a menu item or a menu icon. Next, we can turn this menu item into a mega menu by going to the settings, enabling the mega menu right there, and we have our mega menu configuration options. If you're not familiar with what a mega menu is, here's a menu right here. Actually, you could easily create this entire header area that you see using the cadence theme, but watch what happens when I hover over the menu items. You see, we get this really large pop out that is designed and styled. Well, that pretty much is a mega menu. Now, if you're wondering how you actually create that menu that pops out, well, it's elements again. So we would go back to elements, you would click add new, and this time we would just choose default. You would design your mega menu here and you could use your page builder. So if you had Elementor, there'd be an edit with Elementor button up here or Beaver Builder, whatever tool you like to use. And you would design what pops out and then you would assign it to be what appears when someone hovers over that menu item. And you can design them to look however you want them to look. You could put whatever content you want inside of those mega menus. It's super easy to use, it's lightweight, it's fast, and you can use the default WordPress block builder. Uh, okay, header and footer scripts. You saw I did the element thing and it said default fixed and the other option said code. I can choose code and in there I can put tracking scripts and I can target those wherever I want. In those I could also put custom CSS that I only want to apply to certain parts of the website. So you can do some things like that. I don't think I need to show you or take the time to show you. And then there's some enhancements to WooCommerce. So here I am on a site that I have the WooCommerce put on and you can do a bunch of things and I just want to go over them pretty quickly. So one of them, you can have this filter option right here. So when I click on it, you can customize a bunch of filters here. And so say I want to filter it and just show blue shirts. So it's applied the filter and then right here it shows the filter and there's an option to remove the filters. I think that's really cool. Another one is the pop out cart when you add something to the cart. So let me go ahead and click into a product. Now the free version of Cadence has this feature where you can have these bullet points and this guaranteed checkout and a bunch of other things. So this is the pop out cart. When I click on add to cart, what? well there it is, the cart just popped out and it says view cart or checkout. I created an element and put this free shipping thing in there. So that's not normally there, that's just an element that I, I put in there. But you get this really cool quick pop out cart. Right now I'm in the customizer settings and I've pulled up the settings for WooCommerce. There's a really interesting feature. If I click on product catalog, which is essentially your shop page, you have all these styling options, which is typical, all themes have this. But here's another feature that is completely unique to the Cadence theme. If I scroll all the way down, there's this option right here, or right here, there it is, <laughs> custom shop page. So if I toggle this, it will take all the content on the shop page and get rid of it. And then it will allow you to create it using your page builder or using the default WordPress block builder. This will enable you to do way more than you can currently do on your own with this shop page. You can create a maybe a row of blocks that have images in the name of the category of the product like hats or shirts or whatever and just make the design more visual. Maybe you can have a row on here that says free shipping over these orders, gift cards available, you know, whatever. You can customize the shop page now. So when I'm looking on the Cadence website here for the WooCommerce enhancements right here, it talks about that cart popping out automatically. It talks about the shop toggle widget area. So what you saw, the filters come up. Actually, I could put anything that I want inside of that slide out pop up and there's different styling options there. You can see right here, custom shop page built with blocks or your page builder where it will override and allow you to design that exactly how you want to design it. And then there's this Ajax add to cart thingamajigger. Those are some of the main core features that we're gonna get in the pro version of the Cadence theme. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is missing or lacking or not there just yet. And I have these listed out as well. So this could be 
considered maybe the cons of getting the theme. So let's take a look at these. Okay, number one, more starter templates. Let's first take a look at what starter templates are. It's basically starting points for you when building a website. So if I go to this site right here under appearance and click on starter templates, you can see I pretty much only have these six starter templates here. Now they're great and they all look great and they're lightning quick, but we have an agency one, a blog, a shopping one right here, Yoga Studio SaaS. This was actually recently added. It was for online course creators. So you can literally click on this and have this beautifully fast uh, online course website right here. It's some really great stuff. What's nice when you import these because of the dynamically linked colors, you can choose a different color palette as you import it. And it totally changes everything across the site just by choosing one of these different colors right here. But there's only six of them. And uh, I wouldn't expect any more uh, being that the theme has been out as long as it has been. I'll give you an example. Generate Press has been out, I believe six years now, and they didn't have anything like this for the first four years. So they're definitely ahead of the curve and over time, the library will increase. And right now, these starter templates are only made using the default WordPress block builder. They have said they're gonna convert them all over to Elementor, but those aren't available right now. Anyway, you look at it though, I think it's definitely a great start. Other thing missing, conditional headers and footers. Well, technically, you can have conditional headers and footers, just not using that awesome header builder yet. So when I went into elements, you can create an element to replace your header and then you can apply conditions. You can create an element to replace your footer and that is actually fine right now uh, because you, your header is where the most value is with all those header items. So they haven't brought in that header building interface I showed you with all the different header items. That's not available yet for making multiple types of headers that can display only on specific parts of your website. That is coming. They say that's going to be one of the first things that comes in the next 30 or 60 days or so. I can't wait to see that. Uh, next is white label. This doesn't affect me as much, but if you're a website developer, a lot of website developers like a white label feature where you can go in and not have it say cadence or cadence theme or anything like that, and not have it linked to their website. And so it looks like you've created this custom solution for your clients. Now, this is a feature that's not available, but they've also said this will come in about 60 days or so. So if you're an agency and white label is super important to you, this is not here, but it's coming. Who is the cadence theme for? Well, it's for a lot of people. If you have a website where someone needs to log in and that would be e-commerce, that would be a learning management website. Cadence theme is the theme for you. You saw the powerful header builder to create different headers with the login account item. There's amazing integration with all of these plugins that you would wanna use the learning management ones, the e-commerce ones. It's really a no brainer for anyone that has a website where someone actually needs to log into. That's kind of the way I look at that. And lastly, if you're just someone that wants kind of a brochure website, you probably don't need the Cadence Pro theme at all. The free version of the theme has all that globally linked color stuff, all the font options. So you probably shouldn't buy this theme or use this theme at all because you don't need it. So if you went through everything in the video and you're like, oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice, but you don't need it, then there's no reason at all to buy this. You can just continue using the free one. Of course, if there's a time where you want to maybe support the developer or get some premium level of support that would come with a paid license, then those are great times to make a purchase. But really, if you go through this video and you're thinking, I don't really have a need for that. I don't need those fixed things and I don't need those elements in the mega menu and the icons and dynamic headers and the WooCommerce stuff and all of that, I don't need it. The free Cadence theme is actually perfect for you. Okay, that's as in-depth as I could possibly do for this theme. I think it's fantastic. I'm using it. It's my only theme that I'm gonna be using moving forward. And I totally recommend it. And I trust the people that make it. 
Uh, I wonder what you think. You can let me know in the comment section down below. I have the links to everything in the video description if you want to check that out. I'm really just all about talking about the best products to help people get their task done. For a lot of people, that's just making a website. And if that's you, you might want to give this a, a look. Or if you're looking at evaluating different themes, you can ask me any question that you want down below. I could really use your help though right now in giving this video a thumbs up. And if you see anyone talking about the Cadence theme, maybe share this video with them so it can help shed some light on some of the strengths that the Cadence theme has. And of course, everything I've talked about in this video is fluid. They're gonna add features, other themes are gonna add features. Who knows what happens in the future, but I know that this is the theme for me and the theme that I'm gonna be using moving forward. So I wanna thank you for spending this time with me watching this video and I hope I shed some light on the Cadence Pro theme and everything that it's about. Thank you for giving me the thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.